Hello everybody, my name is Kyle Lee, aka Kilo Loco, up in this business, and today we are going over IB Delegates. Oh, don't worry, it's, it's not a real thing, I just made up that name. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're gonna, going to be connecting custom delegates to the storyboard, and um, this was something that wasn't easily done before. Um, until uh, I believe uh, Xcode 9 so it's really it's really awesome uh, and I wanted to go over it so obviously we're gonna be using Xcode 9 and Swift 4 and um, uh, I set this uh, skill level to beginner all you really need to do is like know the basics of Swift language and then um, have a pretty good understanding of how table view controllers work because I'm not gonna go over how um, I made the table view controller in like super depth but yeah, and then um, if you are interested in the starter project, you can find that down here at this link right here. And all you have to do is enroll into the uh, YouTube course, which is free, and um, it will have the starter project and the finished project. So that's something that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let me show you what, uh, what we're going to be building. Um, all the UI is going to already be built out for us in the starter project, but uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be, um, you know, letting our view controller know when an activity happens inside of a cell. So, um, you know, sometimes you have like a, um, a feed and you have like buttons that will do something and you need to send that information to your view controller. Well, one way that you can pass that information is with delegates. And with Xcode 9, you can connect your custom delegates uh, to the view controller just uh, just like you would do um, like anything else, like you would connect the buttons uh, as IB outlets and things like that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to say um, like, like we like a specific item and it's going to um, pass in, you know, you liked whatever that item is. So we clicked like um, apple, we like the carrot, we like banana, and we're just displaying that with um alert controllers so let's get right on into it yeah yeah because uh this is a pretty simple thing that we're gonna go over so let's uh let's make this a little bit bigger because uh kyle we don't like it when it's all weird and small like that all right so the first thing that uh you want to make sure that you do if you're going to start from the beginning is just make sure that this is a table view controller because we're going to be using a table view controller and then um, when you go over to your main storyboard, if it ever decides to load for me, you'll be able to see that uh, we have our table view controller right here, which we called it foods. And it's embedded inside a navigation controller because we like to make things look sexy. And um, you know, this would run on the iPhone X, except uh, the lines don't really show that well for you know uh, pixelated reasons. And yeah. Uh, so all we have is this table view and notice that it is, let me go over, notice that the content is static cells, you know, so these are static. Um, so anything that we do to one cell, we have to do to the other two cells, um, which includes like connecting things up. Everything's already all connected up. So if we go into our section, we'll see that we have three cells and then um, in the content view, we have a label and a button, which everything is connected to a food cell, which is a UI table view cell subclass. And you have the title, right? And then um, in the code right now, all we have going for us is that if you touch the like button, all it's gonna do is gonna print whatever the text is um, for the title label. And since it's food, I just called it food. So like if we go ahead and run this bad boy, um, we should see in the logs that it's just gonna print out whatever food we selected or whatever food that we liked. So if we, uh, let's see, let's go over my head. And if we do like, you know, we like the apple, banana, carrot, right? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All is well in the hood. All right, so now what you would usually do is you would create your own protocol or delegate. And um, I usually, especially when I do it for cells, I do it um, above. You could put it in another file, but it seems pretty simple and easy to follow. So what you would normally probably do is you'd have a protocol and you'd call it like um, food cell delegate, right? And then you'd have some function in it and it'd be like did like and then it'd be like whatever food and since we're only working with strings let's just say string right 
And this is what you would usually do. And, you know, you would have like uh, your delegate in here as well so that you can call it when you tapped on the button, right? So we would have, we would have a variable called uh, food cell delegate and it's of type food cell delegate of course blah and then you know you would do something like hey we just want to access the food cell delegate and i just want to say did like food and i'm just going to pass in the food from right here right there right so pretty simple pretty straightforward now um you know, you would have to go back into your view controller and, um, you know, do the extension down here or put, put in your food delegate right there. And you'd, st and you still have to do that stuff. But, um, the way to connect things as IB outlets is all we have to do is turn this into an IB outlet. So all we have to do is just do at IB outlet and we'll just say week and it's gonna give us a problem because uh, when you're working with weak and when you're working with IB outlets, what you wanna do is you have to actually have it bridged to Objective C. So what we do is we do at OBJC. And then also, since you are trying to connect things in the storyboard, what you have to do is you have to specify that this delegate can only conform uh, or like anything that conforms to this delegate has to be a class. It can't be like a struct or anything like that because structs, enums, um, like all those other things aren't available in Objective-C, which we have to specify right here. Um, only classes are uh, uh, available in Objective-C. So we want to specify that it's a class, right? So now we don't have any errors, right? And um, well, if we go ahead and run this now, since it's since it's saying, hey, um, I guarantee you that there will be a delegate when we call it and it's not optional, then we will actually go ahead and crash our app, which is pretty cool, right? We can crash it. We can crash it. Really, Kyle? We can crash it? Yeah, we can crash it, guys. We're going to crash it good. We're going to crash it dead. Watch. Okay. So if we go ahead and like apples, we're going to crash our app. It's going to go to hell and it's going to die dead. You see that? Dead. Blech. All right, so one reason for the crash is because we didn't actually connect our outlet, right? We're supposed to have something there and we didn't connect it. So let's go ahead and connect that right away. And um, all we have to do is just go to our storyboard and maybe I didn't connect everything else. No, I did connect everything else. Um, so what we have to do is we have to go to each of our cells. We're going to um, option click or right click or whatever the hell you need to do. Yeah. And then um, you're going to grab your food cell delegate right here. And what you want to do is you want to drag it to your view controller. So you could drag it right there and you have to do that for each of them. Right. So you can you do it for the second one, which is bananas. And we want to grab our food delegate. You could drag it um, over here, too. If you want to do that, it's the same exact thing. Now, I did it for the first two, but I didn't do it for the last one. So what you'll see is that these two, sh well, they actually won't go through because we don't have the we don't have our um, table view controller conforming. But um, yeah, it's gonna cr it, see it's gonna cause a different type of crash. See this? You see all this garbage? That means that hey, there's no um, you know your your table view or your table view controller doesn't conform, but it won't tell you that you're going to have to kind of figure that type of stuff out on your own. But anyway, so let's go ahead and connect this bad boy. Let's connect them real good. All right. So we're just going to drag it right there. And then what we have to do is go back over to our view controller, table view controller. We don't need any of this nonsense. Let's get this out of here. All right. So I like to put all my stuff in extensions. So let's go ahead and do an extension if you know how to spell it. And we're going to say view controller is going to conform to the food cell delegate. And we only have one function in there. And all we have to say is did like, did like that food right there. And we can just say print food, right? And it should essentially print our string, right? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We're going to pass all that data and it's going to be kind of nice and you're gonna like it 
Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and like some apples and we like some bananas and like them carrots. All right, so that's all well and good. And you know, that's all you really need to know about passing data, but let's just prove that we are passing data by, you know, creating a, a UI alert that pops up and you know, it passes that data in there. So let's go ahead and say function and um, alert uh, for like, and we'll just say of food. And of course it's gonna be a string and we gotta create that alert. So let alert equal UI alert controller. And we'll just say title is going to be you liked and we're gonna just pass in whatever the food was. Hey, we're passing in the food, yay. Message, I say nil. Uh, uh, type, we're gonna say dot alert style, yes. Now we need an action to dismiss that alert. So let's say let action equals UI alert action. And then we'll initialize this with the title and it's gonna just say dismiss. We're gonna say dot cancel for the style and everything else is just, you know, icing on the cake. So we don't need that, right? Right, you're so right, Kyle. All right, so then we're just gonna say alert dot add action we're going to add our action and then all we want to do is present that alert and do we want to animate it i think yes and you know why because we want it to be sexy yeah so we're going to go ahead and call this function we're going to say alert for like of passing the food and that's kind of weird wording i know you know don't blame me but uh a function is a function and it's gonna do the job okay so my english might not be great but my code is got you there all right so we're gonna like some apples bam like them apples we're gonna like some bananas bam like the bananas we gonna like some carrots and bam we like the carrots so as you can see all you really got to do is just make this um you know an outlet just like you normally would pretty sweet you want to make sure that it can bridge to objective c because it's working with storyboards and since you're working with storyboards and objective c what you want to do is make sure that your delegate uh, conforms to the class type because it has to be a class. So that's all you really need to know. I hope that was uh, helpful for you. My name is Kilo Loco. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, you still have to give it a thumbs up because you watched it to the end. And then, um, you know, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at Kilo underscore Loco. Yeah, Kilo Loco. Signing out. Keep coding passionately. Bye.